So I've now replaced all the old broken step wall drivers with new ones and I'm going to see if this makes it work again. Okay. So it seems to work. That's good. Now I'll be working on making a thing which stops you being able to put this in the wrong direction. So I've got this thing here. It's a little um, adapter to uh, positive and minus. Now what I want to do is take this cable here and I want to cut it cut it off so I can connect it to to this. Okay, it works. Before, um, the Arduino was just hanging attached to these wires, but now I've mounted them on. So I'm going to see if it works. Okay, so that's not moving. That's not moving. There appears to be a smell of burning plastic, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's smoke coming from here. Uh, okay, okay, this is melting, it's melting, it's melting. It turns out that after mounting the Arduino, some of the pins were touching the metal frame, and this was causing them to short. One of these pins was the pin that controlled the Z-axis stepper's direction, and so it could no longer change direction. In order to fix this, I added some spaces to keep the Arduino from touching the frame, and put tape over all the pins to insulate them. At the moment, I'm using a DC motor extruder which is okay for a 3D printing pen, but the problem is none of the software which I'm planning on using supports DC motors. They all use stepper motors. So I'm gonna have to find a stepper motor which I can use instead of this DC motor. But where can I find this? It turns out that printers contain large stepper motors, so I'm going to go to the tip to see if I can find one. I found um, right here is a big printer. It's stuck. I can't get it out. And without anyone to help me, I don't know if I can actually do this. I think I'm going to need to take this out first, and then I might have space to move this. Ah, oh, it's going to take so long. Okay, I've now managed to move this microwave here. It means the printer has more space. I'm going to try and remove it now. So I'll put all this back and I'll try and take this. Okay, so I'm now going to begin taking apart this laser printer. From the printer, I was able to extract an LCD display, two big stepper motors, and one small stepper motor. Um, you can see that I've attached some stuff to this. That's because I plan to use this one as my extruder. So what I have done is attached some Lego, a spring which I got from the printer, and um, a bearing which I got from this hard drive over here, it used to be there. and. This can actually allow the, um, the filament to be pushed through. So it does this by um, creating pressure with this spring against this gear. If I pull this out, 
you can see it wants to go back. That's because the spring pushes this out, which rotates around this joint, which then rotates like that. So I downloaded a thing called Marlin, which is a firmware made for 3D printers, and it supports my ramps board. So I've edited the settings um, so it should work for my 3D printer. I've also downloaded this thing called Pronterface, which is an interface for the 3D printer. So I can click one of these buttons and it should control it. So if I click the negative, so it moves. So here's the extruder I've made, you can see it. I've loaded it with some filament, so if I click the extrude button here, it should extrude. Okay. So the next thing to do is to order a new hot end and a Bowden tube to connect the extruder to the hot end. And then if I do that, then probably next week I can start printing.